Duck your head. Bend your knees. And put in earplugs. I'm Chris Model Academics, and today we're gonna take a look at a 2019 Polaris Slingshot Grand Touring. So that was my strategy for getting behind the wheel, but you may find one that works even better. Looking menacing as ever is this 2019 Black Crystal with White Pearl Polaris Slingshot Grand Touring, a street legal vehicle that's not quite car, yet not quite motorcycle either. Available in four different trim levels, our top of the range Grand Touring Tester comes standard with projector headlights, LED turn signals and tail lights, two 18-inch front cast aluminum wheels wrapped in two 2545 series Kenda SS 799 tires, and a single 20-inch rear 255-35 series tire, premium metallic paint, color matched fender, full body graphics, 9.5-inch tall Ripper series clear wind deflector, disc brakes with 298 millimeter vented cast iron brake rotors, and the sling shade roof with gold wing doors. Inside, you'll find analog gauges with digital display, quilted comfort seats, painted interior accents, H-pattern shifter, 7-inch Ride Command multi-touch display with Bluetooth, 200-watt Rockford Fosgate audio, multicolored lighting, backup camera, glove box, turn-by-turn -turn navigation, and push-button start. While this vehicle doesn't require airbags, it does have analog brakes, electronic stability control, traction control, and a roll cage. You also get a two-year and limited mileage factory warranty for a total MSRP of $30,999. One factor that makes this vehicle fun is performance, and a major component of performance is weight savings. The Slingshot has a max wet weight of just 1,749 pounds, thanks to pretty much all the bodywork being made out of plastic. Hey, it worked for the Corvette. Okay, I know the standard vet is made of a fiberglass composite, but you get the point. Just because this slingshot has kit car looks doesn't mean there isn't any practicality as well. Behind each seat, you'll find a locking watertight compartment that can hold your helmet or two or three t-shirts. Heck, bring an entire change of clothes. There's room. Propelling this Polaris is a GM Ecotec 2.4 liter dual overhead cam four cylinder engine that makes 173 horsepower and 166 pound feet of torque. It's mated to a five speed synchro mesh manual transmission with reverse and is controlled via a dry single plate hydraulically actuated clutch. A carbon fiber reinforced belt drives the rear wheel. Zero to 60 miles per hour can be achieved in reported 5.5 seconds, completing the quarter mile in 14.6 seconds at 96 miles per hour. Top speed is approximately 130 miles per hour. Although the EPA did not test the slingshot for fuel economy, Auto Academics achieved 27.4 miles per gallon during testing on the required premium fuel. While standard on the Grand Touring, as far as I know, this slingshade roof is only available as an option on non-Grand Touring trims. So accessing the driver's seat is just a smidge easier. Fortunately, the roof opens like go-wing doors, providing a little more clearance. Engineers. The panels are held up by friction, which is a clever solution and one that I can only assume is another weight savings feature. Once inside, you'll notice that like the outside, everything's covered in plastic or a rubberized material, which is good since there aren't any windows or doors for that matter to keep the elements out. Surprisingly, the infotainment system is rather comprehensive for a vehicle like this, providing nav, phone connectivity, a strong radio, and quite a bit of driving information. So now it's time to start it up and see how it drives. But first, let me put these in. Gotta raise this again first. One 
thing that I failed to mention is that while you don't need a motorcycle license, you do need a helmet. But that just adds to the char. There's nothing like riding with the wind in your helmet. The wind deflector is impressively good at its job, but while none of this will help with the rain, the roof will definitely help with the sun. The suspension is way more compliant than you might expect in a vehicle like this, with the exception of features on the road that you might try to straddle in a regular car. While the front two tires may go around whatever you're trying to straddle, the rear tire hits it dead center. <laughs> the steering is kind of vague as well, especially mid-corner, feeling more like a four-wheeler than a motorcycle. And then there's the powertrain. The transmission feels good, and although the clutch pedal travel is short, the engagement is predictable. I've got to say though, due to this vehicle's favorable power to weight ratio, she'll get up and go. <laughs> and now for my final point of contention. This thing is loud, hence the earplugs. I love the mechanical sounds coming from out back. They remind me of a motorcycle. Unfortunately, the exhaust note drones, possibly due to it resonating under the roof. But I'm not complaining, just offering a suggestion for a differently tuned exhaust. And right now, I'm enjoying the ride too much to care. So there you have it guys, the 2019 Polaris Slingshot Grand Touring. I'm going to be straight up with you, this vehicle is not for everyone, but it does give you a motorcycle-like experience via the familiar controls of a car, and you don't even need a Class M license. In fact, all you need are these. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and share it with someone who's looking for a weekend vehicle. Finally, if you haven't done so already, by all means subscribe so you don't miss what we have coming up next. I'm Chris Model Academics. Thanks for watching. And put in earplugs. I'm.